वेलकम टू माय साइट को डायरीज योर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सेलेंस आई एम योर होस्ट जितेंद्र घानेकर आई एम साइट को टेक्नोलॉजी एम 2024 पी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम ऑल्सो सर्टिफाइड इन साइट कोर एंड एक्स आई एम ऑल्सो एक्स एम क्लाउड सर्टिफाइड सो दिस इज द वीडियो फ्रॉम द साइट कोर एस एक्सेस सीरीज सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू एड अ कस्टम कंपोनेंट इन एस so high level what are the steps to perform in this video first of all we have to write the code for the uh, your custom control uh, custom component then we have to create a data templates we have to create a rendering then we have to add it into the specific group where you can use that rendering and then that will be ready to use and then you can utilize on the uh, your page so these are the high level steps which we need to perform in this video before moving ahead uh, let me request to if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon to get, uh, get a latest notification and if you like this video please do share this with your uh, site core uh, site core friends and the colleagues uh, who wanted to learn the site core sxc and do provide your comment and do provide tell me what are the topic which you want to cover in the uh, upcoming videos so let's start uh, today's uh, topic so first step is to develop your controller rendering assuming you are using a site core mvc here okay so it's normal how you do uh, develop the user uh, the renderings in the site core mvc you have to go to visual studio and develop your controller rendering so you have a controller here hero banner controller where i have in inherited the uh, site core controller okay i have written the action result as a hero banner and i am getting a data from the data source and that data source i am using to display the view so view will be like this where i am displaying the image uh, title description and the link okay so this is how my uh, uh, controller and the view uh, looks like it's a normal site core mvc controller i build it and we need to build it and the deploy the code okay so this is the first step you have to develop your controller rendering the similar way the way you are developing it or view rendering whatever uh, the rendering which you are using it's a similar what you do in the mvc then second step is the create a data template so you have the created the code now for that you will need a data template so okay so for the image but here uh, please note you have to add the uh, uh, your uh, template in the site code templates feature experience accelerator okay in that you can create so this is your experience accelerator so in that you where you want to add your component in the uh, these different uh, group, groups like you want to add it in composite context engagement okay so select that folder so i want to add it in page contain then i have added it into the page contain a new template banner and these are the fields which i am using image title description and link image is a image title is a single line text description is a rich text and link is a general link okay so this is the second step again this is a similar step what you do in the uh, site core mvc just that you, you have created you have created it into the feature slash experience accelerator so it's easy to add it in your uh, existing out of box component then the next step is to create a rendering item okay again it's a similar thing what you do in mvc uh, rendering but the path is here rendering features experience accelerator so again you will have in feature you have will have a experience accelerator see where you want to add that so i want to add it in page contain so in the page contain i have added the sxc banner here the new component and this is my controller okay you see it's controller here and the uh, controller action is a sxc banner okay so again it's a similarly what you do in the site core mvc it just that you have had to add it into the experience accelerator then uh, for your component you might want to add the data source template or data source location that you can add it here so that when you add that uh, it will show directly that you need to add the content there i have just applied the template here for a sxc banner
and then the last step is adding a rendering in the component group so uh, in your website say component uh, I have, this is my website where i have a india website in their presentation folder you have available rendering section so in the presentation data uh, uh, your website you have available renderings in that you can find where you have to add it like page content in the page content the first section you will see a, a rendering here rendering section which is shared okay you have to go there and you have to select which rendering you want to add it so sx banner is what you have, you need to add so you have to select that it will go there okay once you add this it will be available in your page content like here you see here page content and the uh, sx banner is available here okay so these are the five easy case easy steps which you need to follow okay so we will see uh, actually in the visual studio and the uh, site for now okay i have logged in into the uh, my visual studio so this is the same github uh, uh, location where i have created the demo website for mvc so you can you can find the code from that same link i will share that in the description so here what i have done is uh, for the our custom control i have decided to create a same banner what we have developed in the msd uh we have our mvc website okay so there will be a banner on the, that we will have a title a description and the link okay so we developed the same way what we have done it mvc so if you see the mvc code here hero banner control it's the same code which i have added a new controller for this demo that is xsa banner controller okay and if you see the code is same okay so once you add the controller you have to add the view also so view you you have to create a sx banner the same name of your method uh, you have to create a folder and inside that access a banner system now this code is also similar to what i have done here for hero banner is just that i have added few css for the sx banner here okay uh, so this is the same code so the to tell you here is it's the same way you will create a controller how you do it in the mvc controller okay mv side core mvc so i've created a xx banner controller here and uh inherited the mvc side core controller taken the data source from the rendering context and then it is passed to the view and on the view we are displaying the image title description and the link okay so title description link are the um, fields and model is your item okay so this code you have to uh, build it okay deploy it so uh, you need to deploy the code in your instance okay so that is the same step what we do in the site core mvc okay so let's see what we have to do ahead in the site code now okay now i uh, logged in into my site core instance local site core instance the first step which we have to do is to uh, create the template for the uh, banner okay so it's where you have to create it is in the template only you have to go to the feature you have a experience accelerator here and if you see there are a lot of folders which are out of box uh, component example which i have to give the page contain you will have there are many uh, page contains which you are using it actually so for that so i have also created the sxa banner okay so this banner you see i have created a section called data then image title description and link which this is the data which you want to hold it okay it's simply how you create a template right insert insert new template add the section add the fields that is how you create the template so i have created the banner template here this is the first thing and the path here is experience accelerator i want to add this as a page content so i have added it into the page content folder okay you can add it on the, your corresponding uh, folder this is the first step so you have to create a template then the next step is to create a rendering so where you create a rendering layout renderings okay and for this uh, uh, to add it into the out of box uh, side core sxa i'm just adding it into the features experience accelerator and there are again the same folder structures are there i want to add that into the page content so i come here a page content and i created the rendering so if you see here there are already uh, 
different uh, uh, renderings out of box renderings are here so i have created the sx banner here again simple right click insert you what type of uh, rendering you want i want mvc rendering so i will go for a controller rendering okay so i have created this sx banner so in controller rendering you know what to add here here is your controller comma your dll so my controller was sx banner so full name msd demo website dot controllers dot sx banner controller so basically in your uh, uh, controller here this namespace plus your class okay and then your controller action that is what we need to add and on top of that if you want to add the data templates okay so i have added a data template here if you see you can even add the data location if you want to uh, pick the data from the specific location then you can add here okay so these are the two fields which depending on your requirement you can add it i have added the template here so sx banner is my controller rendering okay this is the second step which we have to uh, this is the third step which we have to do first step is to create your controller second step is to create a data template third step is to create this feature now you want that this rendering to be available in your sx website then you have to go to your sx website so my website is here this is my website india okay so in that you have a presentations and in the presentation you have a available rendering so this is the available rendering so these are the available renderings okay in page contain if i click a page contain what are the rendering which you want to which is currently out of box available these all are display and now you want a sx banner also which i have added already so for to adding this you have to click on edit and you know where your uh, uh, your rendering is you have to go to there and select that rendering which you want to add it so let's say for example let me add banner to here okay so banner 2 will come here okay so sx banner is what i have already created and just now i have added banner 2 you have to save it okay now your your rendering will be available in the page content so now if say i want to add this uh, in my page so maybe i will i will just select uh, or create a new page maybe insert a page test sxa custom demo okay this is my page i'm going experience uh, accelerator so on the experience accelerator this is a blank page so in the main page if i want to add the image okay if i click on the add here okay and it we have added it page content so if you see here banner 2 which is also we have added newly that is available and our sx banner is also available okay if i select this select default okay so now i need to add the data source okay let me select uh, you can create or copy out of let me select the existing maybe uh, the image one sorry let me select a sex banner okay so this is the existing uh, banner you can create the data if you want or your, your requirement i already created that so i've just selected that okay now if you see this banner and uh, the text and message is coming okay so if i go here and if you see sx banner this is my banner sx banner title is coming okay let me save this and publish with related item okay so let let us browse now uh, the uh, our panel page okay so let's try to browse the page so this is my uh, home page i will add the 
page name here okay you see here the banner has come this is my title this is the description and this is the link okay so if you go back again to the desktop and now what is the data which we have here this is the data okay where your hero banner title so let's let's add more details here okay maybe just we'll just add few lines few more lines here accept save let's publish it refresh it see the text has added okay the, i have not done the good css here but you can see here the test is getting updated so this is how you can add the uh, the mvc controller rendering or mvc component in the sxa okay so we have seen now that how you can add the custom user controller or custom components or renderings in the sxa so you can you can migrate your uh, mvc uh, mvc rendering also in the sxa okay so all the steps which we have seen so first of all you have to create your controller you have to add your template you have to add your renderings and then uh, you have to add your uh, renderings and the template in a specific path of experience editor uh, where you in which folder you want to uh, display that component so that uh, the folder you can add your uh, specific templates and the uh, rendering within the feature and experience uh, editor say uh, folder okay and then you have to go to your website where you want to use the uh, co component then you have to go to the available presentation details presentation of your uh, website uh, content tree sx website content tree and inside that available rendering and whatever wherever you want to add the rendering you can add it so this these are the simple steps to add your uh, mvc controller rendering or mvc rendering in the sx all right we are done for today a very important topic correspond, correspond to site core sxa there will be a cases where you want to use your component in the site core sxa uh, it may not be the case that your 100 percent of your website can be built within by using the outer box component so it is very important to use it or also if you want to migrate your site core mvc websites into the site core sxa then also you will do, you have to do these steps which are performed in this video okay if you like the uh, video please click on the like button to share this with your friends and colleagues uh, whatever the topics or whatever questions we have you can put into the comment okay please add it those in the comments it will help uh, to upload the uh, web, uh, website so uh, please do provide your comment and do do let me know what are the topics which you want to cover in these videos and till now if you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel it's almost 70 to 80 percent of a uh, subscribe uh, watch uh, viewers who has not subscribed to the cha channel so please uh, i will request you to subscribe uh, to the channel and click on the notification bell to get latest update thank you thanks for watching